The stories we tell form the communities we live in. And so I teach modern American history. I polled all of my students this week because we're talking about the history of today. How many of them trust politicians? I have 75 students in class right now. The number that raised their hand saying they trust politicians was a flat zero. Yeah. Not a single <laughs> student said they trust politicians. Maybe your students are more trusting, but I'm going to guess that most of you are pretty cynical about politics. You imagine that politicians are in it for themselves, not for the greater good. Where does that come from? I would argue that it comes from 1968. And Ms. Younger, it comes in many ways from the Tet Offensive, or the Tet Offensive is at least part of that. In 1968, the stories we start telling ourselves start to shift and something breaks in America. Think about 1968 for a minute. Maybe you're not there in class yet. But 1968 is the year of the Tet Offensive. That's this massive communist offensive in Vietnam. It comes on the heels of Lyndon Johnson and General Westmoreland promising the American public, like, we've got this in hand. The communists are no longer able to launch any kind of major offensive. We're kind of mopping things up. And then this major offensive happens. This, I think, Ms. Younger, is what finally breaks faith in Lyndon Johnson, faith in the government, faith in the war, right? The Tet Offensive, eventually the Americans and the South Vietnamese push it back. Like it's a military loss for the communists, but it's a huge public relations win for them. Like it, it turns the public in a really profound way to think differently about the war. But that's not all that happens in 1968. That's early 1968, but soon after, Martin Luther King Jr. is assassinated, right? He's at a garbage workers strike in um, Memphis. He's come to a more radical critique of American racism, right? It's not just about bad individuals. It's systemic and it's related to American foreign policy. He's speaking out against the war in Vietnam and it's related to economics. Like it's about poverty too. And he's shot down. A couple of months later, Robert Kennedy, who's jumped into the presidential campaign very late, but in many ways, I think can be seen as the last idealistic liberal is shot down right after he wins the California primary for the for the Democratic nomination. And so that means when the Democrats show up in Chicago for their nominating convention, it's a disaster. Tens of thousands of protesters show up in the street. And the end result is what um, historians call a police riot. It, there's rioting and violence all through Chicago, most of it instigated not by the protesters, but by the police who were sent by a, a mayor who wanted to be a law and order guy and made his point by, you know, beating up the people who were protesters. It, it's a disastrous year where all of the hope that Kennedy maybe arrived in 1960 with is dying by 1968. So 